Hey, Bears fans, before we get into today's Chicago Bears news, rumors, and a whole lot more, first, help a brother out. Follow me on Instagram. I've had it less than two weeks, and we're about to cross 500 followers. It's at HGramNFL. Go give me a follow. Plus, if you want me to fly back early from my weekend trip this weekend and do my post-game show after the live watch party, hey, we're going to have you guys covered. Follow me on Instagram at HGramNFL, and let's continue to grow my platform over there. And hey, you can ask me guys questions, see more content, all of that good stuff. Go give me a follow. It's at HGramNFL. You're watching Chicago Bears now. I am Harrison Graham. Appreciate everybody for clicking on this video. Just a couple of news, rumors, items to get you guys caught up on. Not a lot of graphics today, just me talking to you guys, and uh, we'll get you caught up on all the big storylines around the Chicago Bears. Number one, Justin Fields injury update. Now, as we film this, we haven't gotten the hardcore practice injury report yet, but he was limited on Wednesday, uh, and uh, Andy Dalton got most of the reps with the starters, but uh, Justin Fields still has a chance to play. Here's what his offensive coordinator, Bill Lazor, said just about an hour ago. He said, quote, I didn't know what it would look like, and I felt pretty good with what I saw this being Fields' practice on Wednesday, but none of us know how it feels, talking about the rib injury. We've all had uh, back, side, core injuries, and sometimes sneezing hurts, but I agree he moved well. I think what it's all going to come down to for Justin Fields, if he's going to play, if he's going to start against Arizona, is going to be pain tolerance. Uh, obviously, if there's a chance of further injury, I would not play him. But if it's simply a pain tolerance issue, uh, that could be what it comes down to. And Justin Fields' toughness uh, has been something we've talked about quite a bit, dating back to his time in college. So I think it could come down to a pain tolerance situation. So uh, we'll see. Obviously, you look at the, the numbers. They're a bit misleading. He has flashed more than this, especially in some of his more uh, recent starts as a passer. I thought he's really improved with his uh, uh, throwing ability, especially downfield. Uh, we know he can run, and I mean, that is part of the equation here as well, if you want him to play, because you don't want him to play and not be able to be mobile, right? Like, if he just has to be a statue and stand in the pocket, is that worth playing him, or should you give him another week off? I, I think there's a good argument for the latter, but obviously Every game counts, uh, regardless of you know having a small chance at making the playoffs this year, but just long term as well. You want Justin Fields out there. You want him to play and get these reps over Andy Dalton. We'll see what ends up happening. So, what do you guys think? Will Justin Fields play on Sunday? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So, if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, just scroll on down and get your votes in. Next up on today's show, Robert Quinn, some news around him. He won NFC Defensive Player of the Month for November. And, hey, we can't talk enough about how good Robert Quinn has been for the Chicago Bears. He has been absolutely fantastic. I mean, you look at his season as a whole here, 11 sacks in 11 games. Uh, that has been outstanding. Actually, maybe 10 games. He may have missed a game. 11 TFLs, two forced fumbles. He's been much improved against the run as well. I don't know still if he was worth that big $70 million contract he got. We knew, After last year, we are like, oh, God, this is the worst contract in the NFL. But this year, he's done his part. He's earned his money. There's no doubt about that. Robert Quinn has been absolutely tremendous for the Chicago Bears. You think about the absence of Khalil Mack. You think about Akeem Hicks being in and out of the lineup. You think about all the adversity this team has had to go through uh, with distractions, the Matt Na the fire naggy stuff, all that. And Robert Quinn just puts his head down and he goes to work. And he makes plays every single week. I mean, he's got a chance to really push for, you know, 15, 17, hell, maybe 20 sacks if he finishes extremely strong. I've been excited with the level of play we've we've gotten at him to up to the point where as coming into this year I was like oh the Bears will cut him after 2021 I think at this point it's probably more likely he returns next year and I would be perfectly fine with that now we have some Justin Fields jerseys available for you guys at chatsports.com slash fields one we ran out of them because so many of you bought them but they are back in stock and with Christmas almost here Hanukkah this is the perfect gift 
for you guys this holiday season, for yourself, for your loved ones. We have adult sizes, youth sizes. Go to chatsports.com slash fields1. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. The Bears are wearing orange this Sunday. I've got the Justin Fields orange jersey. You can get it too. Chatsports.com slash fields1. That's chatsports.com slash fields1. Go ahead, click, shop, pick out your favorite Justin Fields jersey today. Some more injury updates coming out, out for this Bears versus Cardinals game. Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins are expected to play for the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler has missed about a month. Hopkins has missed most of that time as well. And, of course, for the Bears, uh, they can't catch a break. Obviously, we don't like injuries, but it uh, would have been much easier to play Colt McCoy, let's be honest. Ian Rappaport having this, saying the Cardinals are expected to have back both Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins. Murray dealing with an ankle, Hopkins with a hamstring. On the field this Sunday, barring a setback, sources say. This obviously makes things harder for Chicago. I mean, there's no way around it if you are a Chicago Bears fan. It's just going to be tougher to beat the Arizona Cardinals with Kyler Murray, who was an MVP candidate prior to the injury and still could win the award, I think, if he finishes strong, and DeAndre Hopkins, arguably the best receiver in the National Football League, if not top five. It just gets harder when you face those guys because then guys like A.J. Green get man coverage, Rondell Moore is harder to cover, and so on and so forth. So if you're the Bears, uh, you know, get ready because uh, you're going to face a Cardinals team that is mostly at full strength, barring a setback for one of those two players. Who you got in this matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals? Let us know who you got winning and predict the score as well. Don't just let us know who's going to win. Get those score predictions in for the Bears, for the Cardinals. Uh, I will get my score prediction in just a moment, but this is your time to predict the score right now. Before I get to my score prediction and a couple of thoughts on that matchup, we got you guys covered with Bears videos all season long Hit that subscribe button. We haven't been getting as many subs recently. Help us out. Uh, help us continue to grow. We're going to continue to have daily free videos, news, rumors, injury updates, game previews, post-game shows, live shows, live watch parties. We do it all. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Help a brother out and subscribe. My prediction for this game, 28-20 Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are the better team. Now, Warm indoor weather climate team coming to cold, windy, potentially wet Chicago. There's a chance of rain. Uh, that is certainly uh, intriguing uh, for the Chicago Bears. But at the end of the day, uh, I just think Arizona's better. So I'm going to predict uh, the Cardinals to win it 28-20. to 20. Remember, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and we will have you guys covered with more videos and content over there. We'll see you guys soon here on Chicago Bears Now.